white man in boxing. Where the flare cops. Shout out to Goodfellas Sports TV. Woo! Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, at thehellblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code Goodfellas1Boxing. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfellas since you get 18% off. We out. All right, man, we back. Good fellas, Sports TV. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Um, appreciate the love support. It was told to me um, this morning or last night, better yet, that Sean Porter has requested to fight Earl Spence and Keith Thurman. Okay, we know the Earl Spence fight not going to happen. Um, it was put to me that he only want to fight Keith because Keith, you know, is dealing with coming off an injury, you know, obviously with the elbow and over the course of his career, his body been breaking down over injuries and that he has not requested to fight Terrence Crawford. Now, we know we had the article last night or yesterday saying that, you know, you know the Crawford fight don't make sense because the money isn't there. The money isn't there for Keith Thurman. You feel what I'm saying? The money is there for Errol Spence like it would be. Even with pay-per-view, you know, if you rematch Errol Spence right now without an audience, they wouldn't drive in the money that they had, especially during the pandemic. My whole thing is this, you know, Sean and Kenny manipulates the media. All right, at least Crawford, you can't tell me like one time really Crawford or Bomack really manipulated the media, you know, to this magnitude, you know, unless I'm missing one because he told you straight up with Ben Thompson, they were sitting at a, a weigh-in or press conference. He said, man, I don't want to fight Sean. That's my friend. You know, uh, even if he beat Earl Spence, I still want to fight Earl Spence because you know, me and Sean Porter are friends. And people took it as, oh, you being scary, this, that, and the third. And, you know, a lot of people say, well, Terrence Crawford need to be more vocal in the media. And then when he is more vocal in the media, what does it change? You know, he's being vocal with Errol Spence to his face. He's been vocal with Errol Spence, you know, in multiple interviews. Well, he's been vocal with Keith Thurman before he was vocal with Errol Spence and acknowledging Errol Spence. He was vocal, you know, with Errol Spence on, on, on Twitter. They talked on the phone. They talked in person. And guess what? It still hasn't gotten him to fight. He went to TMZ to, to tell, him, tell him to take the panties off. You can't make a coward do something the coward don't want to do. Okay? Sean Porter and Kenny has been been manipulating the media, saying we want these type of fights, we want that fight. But when they come behind the closed doors, they're not asking for those fights. They're not pressing for those fights. Same thing for you, Dennis Ugas. You know what I'm saying? He he not calling over there. And I heard that Bob Arum is willing to do the Sean Porter fight. You know, and people say, oh, he's going to fight Kell Brook. And first it was, you know, Terrence was scared of Kell Brook. Oh, why he don't take the Kell Brook fight? Now the Kell Brook fight is here. All of a sudden, now he's, he ducking Sean Porter. Why he don't take... See, this is why this is why he don't really be vocal or talk to the media because, you know, you can't win. It's a, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a battle that you can't win. But with Sean and Kenny Porter, they just manipulate the media. They be lying to people. You know, you say, we want that fight. We want that phone call. They didn't make the phone call. Bob Arum, you know, Bob Arum in Vegas just like they in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? Bob Arum got a cell phone just like they got a cell phone. You 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 feel me? So, you know, one thing about it is at least Crawford ain't pumping, you know, pumping up people's heads up in the media and lying to him. He a straight shooter. Whoever they put in front of him, he said they'll fight. But, you know, at the same time, it's time for Sean Porter to move up anyway. You didn't you didn't fought every prominent welterweight there is unless you're gonna fight Marcos Madonna. If he come back down to 47, you fought Devin, you fought Kale, you fought uh, jo uh, Julio, Joel, uh, Julio Diaz, Joel Diaz's brother, you fought Danny, you fought Keith, you fought um, Ugas, you fought Spence. So what is there else to do? You can make an argument that he, the, some of the fights that he lost, he won. You can make an argument some of the fights that he won, he lost. What else is there, there to do if you're not going to fight Bud? You lost to Keith Thurman. You know what I'm saying? Unless you want Keith Thurman do it at 54, that make a little bit more sense. But everybody looking at Keith Thurman as, as a fighter that's, that's damaged goods. He beat you when he was at his best. It's almost, you know, got a Roy Jones, Bernard Hopkins, two feels to it. What do you got to gain? It's not a build on the line or nothing. But it's crazy. Because these these dudes say something on, on, on the face, face card up. And then when they get behind the scenes, it's, it's, it's totally something different. You know, for Sean, and you know, like I said before, just keep it one hundred. It's it's a lot of pumping niggas' heads up in the media, and you could be you can you can just put the the pieces to the puzzle together. You know, the pieces to the puzzles ain't hard to say.
He been saying he gonna make this phone call for how long? How long? Oh, we gonna have this conversation. Oh, we was gonna sit down after Tyson Fury and this day. Y'all both was at the Fury Wilder two fight. Why didn't y'all talk? Go to you know, go have some tea, have have some coffee. Y'all both friends. Y'all both got each other the number. Like I said before, you can't put it on the champion to go find a challenger. Champion shouldn't be chasing the challenger. Sean Porter is a super journeyman. He he's probably he's a super journeyman. He had both his titles for a day. The IBF title, I think he might have defended it once. I, I can't remember. Because he beat Devin and maybe for Paulie while he had the title, I'm not sure. In the WBC title, he had one title defense that some people think he lost. Sean is a super, he's a souped up journeyman. You know what I'm saying? That's just the guy on the truth about it. And what makes it even worse is he's probably fit, naturally physically bigger than, than, than most welterweights. He's fought as high as, you know, 75, 68 pounds as his career going down. And he's struggling with the strong, the lesser of the guys. Imagine if he fought at his natural weight class. You know, Sean Porter be somewhere working at Home Depot with Kenny managing him. You feel me? So it's just manipulation of the media, bro. You got to be able to keep your eyes open. You know, you don't need infra inside information, you know, to know that Sean Porter don't want to fight. You know, him and Bob Aaron was in the same room for Water Fury 2 Fox Press Conference. Why didn't you ask for the fight like Kell Brook did? You know, Last time I checked, Terrence Crawford's phone was still on. Why didn't you make the call to him and say, do you want to do this? Why didn't you call Bob and say, you want to do this? Look here, Kenny, Sean, nobody chasing you guys. Y'all bring nothing to the table. Y'all that y'all them people that come to the barbecue and leave with 20 plates but don't bring shit. Not Sweet Baby Ray's, not even a bottle of open pit. You don't bring a chicken wing. You don't bring a slab. You don't bring potato salad. You don't bring plates, cupcakes, napkins. Styrofoam cups, you don't even bring a pint of gin. You feel me? You bring nothing to the table. So why should why should why should somebody come chase y'all? Why should somebody call y'all? You don't bring no numbers, you don't bring no audience, you don't you're not a ticket puller. So you have to be in a position to be a go-getter. Now, people forget when Keith Thurman was trying to fight uh Sean Porter when he had his IVF. Kenny Porter and them told him to get a belt. Remember that? They dug Sean. People forget that. You know? I mean, they dug Keith. Keith been wanting to smoke. And, we, and then, you know, once Keith, they lost their title and Keith was up, oh, don't duck us, don't duck us. No, nah, nigga, like, come on, man. You got to keep that same energy. When you ain't a title, when you ain't a, 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 a belt holder, a title holder, you know what I'm saying? Keep the same energy when you was a title holder. These dudes get a title. And they start acting brand new. They start acting bad and bougie. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. The bike trying to hear that, bro. People not going to forget that. And same thing with Errol Spence. When he in the position to be a contender and he begging for a shot, man. Fuck that. Hell no. Nah. Beggars can't be choosers. And choosers not beggars. So at the same time with him. You know, Sean, Sean has a history. Keith Thurman don't owe you nothing. He gave you an opportunity you missed. Kel Brook gave you an opportunity you missed. Danny Garcia gave you an opportunity you hit. Errol Smith gave you an opportunity you missed. You know what I'm saying? You lost to every elite welterweight. Why, why should they give you a rematch? They shouldn't. You should just move up. You're 32 years old. What's wrong with moving up? You instantly become the cash cow with 154 pounds. What's, problem, what's wrong with moving up and challenging yourself? Well, all the money at 50 foot 47 and ain't why trying to, you lost everybody. So if you truly don't want to fight Bud, which they said he didn't want, he don't, he didn't request it. He don't want to talk about it. He going to hide behind the side of the street. First it was Bud, come over here. We have all the fun. You feel me? Now is, you know, I only want Earl and Sean. You know, Earl and, and Danny is damn near done. Okay. You know, Keith Thurman, probably not going to take that fight. Keith Thurman probably going to tune up and try to be prepared to get an Earl Spence fight or Danny Garcia winner in 2021. So if it's at the point where, you know, you want to take another tune-up, you want to fight another contender, or you in that position, dude, just move on. Danny Garcia say, shit, when I'm done with the Earl Spence fight, I'm moving up. I can respect it. But it's time for Sean Porter 
if you don't, if he don't, if he really don't want to fight, you know, Terrence, and Terrence agree that he don't want to fight him, or they can't get a deal done, or, or he don't want to fight for a title because it don't make sense financially. The money ain't there right now. This, that, and the third. The money should never be there for Sean Porter like that. He had to taste the pay-per-view. You would never get on pay-per-view again, in my opinion. You know, and if you do, it ain't going to do well. So it's at that point, man, just this, this, what, what MC Breeze say, tell Kenny, it ain't no future in the front, bro. Just go on ahead and, and, and move up and, and wait. Go on ahead, man. But it is what it is. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon, please, and share the video. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out if you got business question, inquiry, response, share video requests. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation to the channel? Cash out, PayPal, description. Best way to donate is share, share the video. Y'all know what the business is one time for the one time. I gotta wake Mason up, man. Mason doing videos for me this morning, man. But I appreciate it. Share the video. We done.